clinching that home playoff game, how much does that mean to you guys to finally be able to bring that to these fans? Um, it's huge. I mean, we like to make club history is the best thing to do, obviously, and just progressing the club more and more every single year, but bring it for the fans, like, it makes it feel more personal. Um, it makes it feel more personal and more of us trying to give something back to them because they give so much to us every single day. You guys have been really dominant at Providence Park this year. I think when you have your full team here, you're eight and zero. Why do you think you've been able to play so well here at home? The fans. I mean, our, we've got a great team. We've got a great group of girls, and it's just something different stepping onto this field every single day. I mean, we practice here. We know the field. It's perfect size for our team. We like to play. We like to spread out. But um. I mean, more than anything, it's the energy. It's, you almost, you just can't let them down. You want, like, you, we feed off of their energy. What do you think's different, though, versus last, uh, previous years? You guys haven't necessarily come together in the same way as you have this year. Um, you had talent every year, but um, it just seems to have come together better this year and the performance has shown. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, We've talked a lot about team mindset and we focused on the little things this year. I mean, we, even though last year players went out and came back in and it's been logistically pretty much the same kind of year, this year we've focused on, we've thought ahead and we thought, well now, how do we now have to shift our mindset when they come back in? How do we have to shift our mindset when they leave? How do we have to, and it's way more almost planned. And so we're always ahead of any of the, I don't know, the hard, hardships is a weird word, but anything that might throw us off, we have now planned for it and we're ahead of it. And I think that's the biggest difference in the past. And what do you think Mark has brought um, to the team this year? What, it, what attributes as a coach has he been able to contribute? Um, that I think is one of the biggest ones. He is definitely a planner and a talker and he likes to talk to us through his mindset and through how he expects our mindset to be and how our attitude and our focus and everything like that. And I think where in past years it's been fitness driven and mentality driven too, but he likes to make it more of a conversation and I think that's been the biggest difference. As a team, what sort of adjustments do you guys still feel you want to make uh, heading into the postseason? You have one more game in the regular season. What are you hoping to accomplish in that match heading into the postseason? Um, I th we just have to win out. We want to get the shield and I think well, as far as we've been playing the last few games, keep playing how we're playing um, and stay together as a team. I mean, they're gone, but they're, we know they're training hard. We've proved to them that we train hard, but they're, they're, they've proved to us that they've trained hard when they're gone. And so I think, I mean, we'll come together in Jersey. It's a big field and it's flat and great grass. And I mean, the stadium is not all that great, but the field is actually wonderful. And so I think it'll be perfect for us to get to on. How much value are you guys placing on the NWSL Shield? Obviously, you've already clinched the home playoff berth, but how important is it to you guys to make sure you win that game and actually get the chance of getting the Shield? It's, I mean, that's what you want. Like, think of the years before Seattle's had the best, Seattle's gotten the Shield and has lost the finals, and that's terrible, and you want both, but there's something special about winning the season and winning the league play.